Hello, my friends. How is everything going? So in today's lesson, we were going to talk how you can use image in the Flutter. So before we dive into today's lesson, I would like to thank for those people who subscribe to my channel, and I really appreciate your support. So as you can see here, uh, I have listed out all the topic I'm going to cover in this video. So we were going to talk how you can e use the image from the network. So basically uh, through the URL address and also we are going to uh, talk how you can use the image from your SS folder in the local. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's go back to our Visual Studio code. So here I have already uh, set up my Android emulator and it already connect with my Visual Studio code. As you can see here, I have a container with 300 wide and 300 high. Also, it fill with blue color. On the left is the code we left from the last lesson. And here I would just give you a quick review. So the first one, uh, the first line would be import the material library because we need to use the state, we need to extend the status widget. And we also may use these material app widget, scaffold widget, sentence widget, and container widget. So we need to import this material data. And uh, the third line would be the main entrance point for our start our application. And also we define this app my app, which extends the status widget. And we overwrite it is a build method, which will like uh, render uh, this uh, widget in our application, right? So we here we first return this material app uh, because if we need to use any uh, building material component, we need to wrap this material app. The second we uh, fill this scaffold widget into the home attribute inside this material app. So the scaffold widget will uh, give us this whiteboard which occupy this entire screen. So inside this uh, scaffold. Uh, I have the center widget which will be uh, align my container into center uh, and then I have my uh, container uh, weight 300 and height 300 and also a few with blue color okay we will start from here so first we going to use uh, we're going to load the image from the network so here in flutter we have a method uh, network method inside this image class. So we just uh, we have in this child method we have image dot network class, right? So in here we just put the URL. Uh, here I already uh, prepared those uh, the two image. Here I just uh, place here uh, replace here. But we need to pass as a string. When I save it, you will see the image is coming up. Let's try another image. This one is more wider than the first one. So let's see what we're going to, uh, how it will be rendered in our Flutter app. Let's replace the image URL with the newer one. As you can see, it displayed successful. And there are lots of attributes inside these uh, image.network. So the most common one I have listed out here, I will go through each uh, one by one. So the first is the alignment attribute. So alignment attribute, we can here, alignment attribute. We will give, when you move your mouse, you will see uh, it require this alignment uh, geometry uh, class, but alignment geometry class is a uh, abstract class. You need to pass the it is trial class. All the class implement those uh, abstract method. Okay, so since I already know which class we are going to use, uh, we are going to use this is this alignment class. In this alignment class, we have a lot of uh, static attribute we can use. So first, we're going to use this uh, top left. So when I save it, you see our uh, image will be going up and it start 
you align with the top left we can also use like a button button right button right you train something like this because our image is a uh, higher than this container so if our image is small you are probably in just in this uh, right button corner okay uh, let's go another attribute is the color so we can uh, give our image the color okay we probably like give the uh, yellow when I save it you can see oh it will the image will have the uh, this uh, yellow color but I don't see it's much useful we need to uh, use it along with this uh, color blend mode so color blend mode you have this uh, uh, blend mode class which implement uh, these uh, oh you already is a conquer method so we can just use it and there is a attribute uh, something like we can try something like a test and we'll see uh, it's nothing different we'll try different one probably will be this one you will see the image is changed based on uh, those uh, image platform and then uh, the most important one is this uh, fit attribute so I just comment out those two and the most important one is this fit attribute so the fit attribute when you move your mouse you see here is a box fit class we need to pass it in and there are lots of uh, static attribute we can use so first we will try this cover and we save it and open our em emulator you will see so when you move out mouse in you will say the cover will uh, as small as possible while still covering the entire target box right so you see you will cover the entire box and without the distort torting the image and then we will trying to use the fill one the fill so when we save it you will see the fill uh, will fill the target box by distorting the source a special ratio right? and another one would be container so we save it you see the container will be as large as possible while still containing the source entirely uh, within this target box so it didn't will uh, distorting your uh, aspect ratio oh I forgot to comment this alignment so you are based on your uh, situation to choose the most appropriate uh, attribute uh, in your case right okay the next one uh, we also have the this two the another two is a uh, fit weight and fit height there is a uh, fit weight fit weight let's try fit weight first yeah because it, it already occupied the whole way so it doesn't you didn't see any change in here so the fit we will make sure the full weight of the source is shown right and another is a uh, fit height fit height so when you save it you will see fit height so it's the opposite of the fit weight so it will make sure the full height of the source is shown regardless of whether uh, this means the source overflows the attack box horizontally after we try of this fixed attribute we will move to the next the next one will be the repeat attribute so first let's comment out this attribute and we will try the re repeat one okay first comment out this uh, fit attribute and we will write this uh, repeat attribute and we move when you move your mouse you will see it re uh, you require this uh, image dot repeat right so we can access it is a value like a repeat x repeat y or no repeat by default it's no repeat so repeat is uh, you repeat both x and y to feed the entire uh, container right so let's make our container uh, larger so I'll give probably 600 and I save it 
you see this image will uh, trying to repeat uh, both in wet and high right so if I only says repeat the uh, X you only repeat uh, horizontally maybe I increase the weight with a double infinity Oh, still didn't see much difference because the image is, is too wide. So the double infinity uh, is you will took the entire uh, screen width. Right? Okay, let's back to three hundred. Uh, 300. And we the next one is uh, how we can use the image from the local access. So we back to uh, these. I just comment out all of those. So I just comment out those. So we are not going to use these images dot network. We are trying to use uh, something like image uh, dot uh, access. So we comment out this one. So so first I I already uh, download those two image in here. So before uh, we're doing uh, trying to access this image from local, we need to create a, a access folder inside uh, these uh, root, right? We in in our root, we uh, folder root, we create this access folder, and inside this access, we create the image folder, and uh, some of you may also create like a icons folder, yeah, and we we will put our uh, image into this image folder so we move these two okay so and also uh, the most important is you need to uh, change the, you need to comment out the access part in this pub specific uh, YAML file so when you back to your visual studio code and you find you see a pub YAML file and you scroll down you will see uh, this line so first you just comment out this line, uh, you will say go uh, load your assets from we, because we create this assets uh, folder so we need to add these assets before these images right so we find assets and images and we can just uh, delete we expose this entire uh, image folder so we can access it in our code so let's go back to the Visual Studio Code. We will change this to SS. And by here, we just replace this uh, URL with the, the part. And images, and also like a flutter.png, right? So we save it. So we may be unable to see this because uh, we need to restart our application. When you restart, you press this restart button. You are trying to find, uh, reload this entire, uh, how to say, the image will load into your SS folder. So now you're, you're back to normal. We have this image inside our container. So the image is, they have the similar attribute like we have a test in this network image class. Yeah, basically uh, they are the same. So we are not going to test again here. Okay, next I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a circular image inside uh, the Flutter. So there is a two way to create a circular image in Flutter. The one is you're using container, another one you use the clip or oval class. So first we're going to show you uh, the first one and then I show you uh, the, uh, the second one. So the second one is much uh, easier. So I recommend you using the second one. Okay, back to our Visual Studio Code. And first we change the uh, container back to square. Also I comment out this uh, property, image property. So you know we have a decoration from last lesson. So in this decoration we pass box decoration because box decoration would be uh, implement this uh, abstract class decoration. So in this box, uh, box decoration, we have a folder radius, right? 
Remember, in border radius, we can pass a box for a border radius and dot circular. Circular, and uh, you just specify this one. And also, when I press save, will be encode error. So I already uh, show you how we can fix it. Maybe you know. So let's first save it. So we will encode error. Yeah, as you see, because we're using this decoration. So in decoration. Uh, we need to remove the color inside this container. Uh, we probably will need to move this down. So you see, we have this circular uh, blue uh, circle, right? So how we can put our image inside? So in the uh, box decoration, we have another attribute uh, called um, image attribute, right? You can put your image here, and but you. Uh, the image is uh, quite different. You're using a uh, decoration image, and inside this image, you need sp you need to pass the image provider. Right, this is a required attribute. You need to pass the image provider. So the image provider will be something called network image. So we paste it here, and we go back to our uh, image address, and we copy and back to Visual Studio Code. And we paste it here. So when I save, here I see uh, the image inside this uh, circular shape, right? So if you're trying to achieve, yeah, it's a quite a uh, difficulty to remember all of those attributes, right? So I don't recommend you using uh in this way, and you see you can also use like a feed attribute inside this, and you can properly using a uh, box v uh, cover and you probably will occupy the whole container right yeah it's hard to see because the background is uh, a little bit wide very close to this okay so i will uh, comment out comment out this part so Another uh, more easier way is using this clip uh, oil, oval plus. So let's comment out this part, decoration part. Very left, yes, here. So I just comment out. Here I will use another class called this one. And I give the trial attribute. So trial, I will give the same one, like a image dot network. And I paste the same URL from uh, the website and I save it. So you will see we have this box. Oh, we don't give the color, right? So we give the color. Yeah, we save it. It's hard to see, so we can uh, use probably there is a attribute called fit, right? Oh, in the first we need to write in the after the address that has a fit. We can use box fit and box fit probably cover. Right, we save. You see, we still achieve the uh, the same the same like effect. Uh, so I recommend you using uh, this one, and this one will be uh, much easier. And you can also specify it is a uh, height and weight. So here, because this uh, clip oval is inside the uh, container, so we can adjust the container's weight and height. I just give it 200 high and 200 weight, we save it. When you, you will see this uh, circular image will be uh, much smaller. Okay, that's all for today's video. I hope you learned how to uh, set up this image in Flutter, either by using network address or using the SS folder. Yeah, you load the image from local SS folder. Okay, if you like my video, please uh, a thumbs up my video and also uh, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next video. Thanks for watching.